Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel uh, for this episode 21 on Comston Farm with me, Farmer Murphy. Well, on the last episode, um, we completed our barley harvest, and we did very well uh, with the game crashes and that, and having to start over uh, a few times. I kind of lost track of where we were, so I went and checked, and we got 177,000 liters of barley off of that field, so that is awesome. I think that was more than what we needed but I'll do all the calculations and deliver and uh, after we get through the harvest so I'm set up here on the canola field so we're going to get cracking on that hopefully we we do as well on it Now I'm recording this immediately following uh, the last recording, um, so I am not going to try and uh, time lapse this one because uh, I still haven't uh, <laughs> figured out or fixed the debacle of the, the last one. I'm, I'm really curious what I can patch together. I also did some camera moves in the uh, when I was doing the headlands that I realized in a time lapse would probably not be the best, so I'm going to have to cut it down and patch it together. So hopefully it worked out okay. By the time you guys are watching this, you'll you'll know it's it's still in my future. I'm recording this between uh, Christmas and New Year's, so I hope everyone had a fantastic Christmas and uh, have a happy and safe New Year's. Anyways, I am going to carry on with this. We'll get this harvested, and I'll bring you back in and let you know how much we got off this field of canola. So we'll catch up with you in just a little bit. Well, I got a worker helping me out with the canola harvest over there. And so uh, during the breaks between carting, I thought I'd come over here and start on this baling uh, so we can get some straw up. Straw is actually the commodity that we are in most of need of, and uh, we've actually had to buy some. Uh, not quite sure what happened there. I guess you could put it down to mismanagement somehow. But anyways, we ran out of straw, so I'm going to get going on this. You can see the worker off with our new harvester, which is working out quite well. And uh, once he's done there, we will move on to those contracts. So just thought I'd give you an update what's happening well there we go 1230 and our harvests are done uh, we ended up with 89,000 liters of canola off this field so that's pretty good our demand for canola isn't as great as it is for barley so we should be fine and we also had some already in our, our leftover in our silo so should be in great shape there as well so I'm going to get this delivered to our silo, and then we're going to set up and start knocking out those uh, harvesting contracts. They're worth almost uh, 100000 so that'll go nicely on the loan. So I will catch up with you in a minute. Well, I've got everything else moved to field 17 and 18 for the harvest. It's just a header, and I thought that might be a little interesting, so I thought, but you might want to come along for the ride. We'll see how uh, how tricky this is. Now I gave the neighbor a phone call. Uh, he's got an empty field. Asked if we could stage in it. He said no problem. He needs to plow it out anyway. So that's a help. Looks like our looks like our header didn't lock on the trailer. That's not going to help our cause any.
still practicing that same tune. <laughs> I don't know if the tail end hooked on the our gate. That looks like that's what happened. Uh, I thought it might be interesting. I watch a YouTuber, um, another sim uh, farm sim guy uh, his name's Andy's farm he has a, uh, a saying for a situation like this that I think I might steal and that's dear oh dear <laughs> uh, well I think I think a hedge is gonna have to die for the cause here try not to run over our crop Now go check out Andy's channel. I think he'll put a smile on your face. He does mine anyways. Yeah, that was a problem swung just a little too wide there. So our header trailer hooked on there so we can give it a little shove. <laughs> I might need to go get a heavier tractor. It might not have the oomph to push this thing around. I thought coming in down here rather than uh, the other side might be a little uh, work out a little better. But <laughs> excuse me. Apparently, I was wrong. Trying not to, sorry about the trees, trying not to compound the issue by running over our sugar beet. Oh my goodness. Oh, there. Same darn tree I caught again. Now is there enough room for me to sneak back in here? <laughs> oh yeah oh there we go come on baby oh we made it I thought that might be one of the downfalls of this larger header it's getting in some of these fields anyways we made it like I said, I talked to the farmer who owns this field. It needs to be plowed anyway, so he's not worried about compaction. 
for our fields for this header, I think there's, there's an easy way into all of them, but it's the uh, some of these contract fields that uh, prove to be a bit interesting. Field 17 and 18 are both up here. Uh, boy, those birds are noisy. Um, so, uh, we're, we're good for a couple of them anyway. You can see there's the truck and trailer. I brought them both up so we can uh, reduce the number of trips we need to make. So just like before, I'll get the headlands done and it's set up so we can get a worker going and I'll go back onto that bailing. So uh, I'll bring you back in for an update in a little while. Well, look at that, guys. Uh, I just completed two full laps of the field and it filled our truck up. It's basically almost 86,000 liters. That's half of the yield off our entire field and that's just two laps around and we've got two more fields to do this one right next to us it's not quite as big but it's not a whole lot smaller and then I think it was field 31 which is bigger yet <laughs> to steal from Andy again uh, dear oh dear what do we get ourselves into this is going to take some time I have forgotten how uh, how big these fields were even with this big harvester and look at that it's almost three o'clock and we started what at 12:30 when we started moving down here so, uh, I thought I saw to give you a quick update. <laughs> I know I often say, well, I'll see you in a little bit. No, nope, I'm going to see you in a long while. And uh, we're going to carry on with this anyways and get her done. So, see you in a while. Well, here we are, guys, with the last load from field 17. That's quarter after 7. So, once we deliver this, it'll finish the contract. Now we will have a little more barley left over than we normally would and that's simply because the last partial load that was on the truck from our field I brought up here to throw into our production because I knew we needed it, it was getting low and it, I didn't at that point realize it was the delivery point for the contract so that credit <laughs> excuse me that credit went to the contract so we'll get that back now as you can see it popped up and said it was complete but we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw all of this barley in here um, because uh, I did the calculations we need 66,000 liters of barley sorry 66,000 liters of barley that is I forgot to finish that uh, to keep our productions running for the year so um, this should take us close to that point I would think ooh didn't take it all oh it's probably full I never thought of that there's uh, gonna be a capacity on here so if you look at our barley 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 oh there it is oh yeah 50,000 liters so it's full so we need another 16,000 to keep it running for the year. So we'll have to hang on to that in our silo. Not a problem. So I'll head uh, back down to our silo. And I will meet up with you at our harvester. And we'll get set up for the next uh, contract, which is on the field right next door. So we'll see you then. Well, I wanted to show you guys this. A look at the state of our harvester. We used over half a tank of fuel and uh, we're more than halfway down on our uh, required repairs. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a field uh, 
fuel and repair uh, vehicle. So first we're going to do this by putting in this toolbox which if you are not aware you can uh, pick up and move around like strapping your vehicles. The only thing with it is that wherever you place it every time you come into the game that's where it's going to spawn if, if you're not aware of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire it in here down at our cow farm or sorry yeah sorry got it right the first time cow farm right here just in case we want to do any repairs there and then we are going to purchase we go under miscellaneous there is a little fuel trailer right there oh we'll go with the chrome wheels i think it needs to be where's massey ferguson red right there with a black chassis Okie dokie. We'll worry about the license plate later, so we're going to buy that. And if we go under pallets, we need some diesel. So we'll buy a barrel of that. Alright, so I'm going to grab our Kubota, and I'll run down to the store and get that stuff picked up and brought back here, and we'll get our harvester looked after. So... We'll see you in just a couple minutes. Well, here I am back at the field with our uh, mobile refueling and repair station. Uh, strap obviously doesn't do any good, but hey, it stays in there if you don't drive too crazy. So we'll see what this is going to cost. Oh, I think that has to be rotated the other way, I believe. interesting to see what this costs us ooh 6500 bucks 331 I have it on good authority if we repaint this it'll set it back to new uh, condition as far as repairs go so we may look at that at some point I'll drop that back in there like I said this will stay in here get it right side up here as long as uh, we don't restart the game once we restart the game we'll have to pick it up uh, back down at the cow farm if we want it again we'll get this refueled and there we are good to go oh I guess I should accept that other contract since we spent some money there we go so the next field field 18 is right next door it's not quite as large what time is it eight o'clock in game um, I don't know if I can get it done by midnight, but we'll go till midnight or so, something like that, uh, harvesting. Hmm, took half that fuel, too. Um, now, I did get the bales, uh, the straw bale, I should say, and the bales picked up um, while uh, I was in between carting. And uh, we got 73 bales, or 60... 660,000 liters of much needed straw so that has been done now I've got set up to do the mulching on the fields and I will uh, mulch while I get this harvest going same thing just in between carting I'll, I'll uh, start mulching so but it's getting dark so I'll leave you guys there and uh, we'll catch up in the morning and we'll see how far uh, I was able to get on this harvest uh, before I had to shut her down so we'll see you tomorrow morning. Well, good morning and welcome to the farm this morning. Um, early the next morning, as you can see, I did complete the contract on field 17 last night. I got that wrapped up around 1230. I have the leftover wheat from that contract in here. As you can see, we got ooh, almost 28,000 liters. So that's pretty darn good. We'll dump that in here and we'll either use that uh, in productions or uh, we'll just sell it off. We'll see. Um, so that leaves, if we look, uh, field 13 to be done. Also uh, picked up a cultivating contract on field 18 that we can do.
While uh, that harvest was going on, I completed the mulching on these two fields, so they're ready for lime. Um, canola can't go in till next month, so there's uh, no pressure there. And of course, we still have our two grass fields to look after. And can't forget about our chores, so I'm going to get all on on all of that. And uh, all the money is just going to go pounded onto the loan. So when I get that done, either later tonight or tomorrow morning, I'll give you an update as to how we made out with that and where we're at. And I'll just carry on with the rest of this work off camera. So I will catch up with you once some work is done. Oh, I thought I'd bring you back in for an update because things have been moving right along here on the farm. Our chores are all done. And before I started those, I got a worker going on uh, the cultivating on field 18. Sorry, just had to pay attention there for a second. So he's just about done, like he's at 90% or something like that. There is a worker going on the canola on field 13. Uh, he's not nearly as far along. Uh, that's only about 25% done, so there's ways to go on that yet. As you can see, I'm liming our fields. Um, but I did come to a couple decisions um, here this morning on the farm. Things were going to change up. Uh, one is what we're going to plant in our fields. I did the calculations on our required canola for the year and we need 89,000 liters, which was exactly what we got off of that other field. Now we had some canola left over and we'll probably have some left over this contract. So, you know, no way will we run short. But going forward, the pigs are gonna require more food. So I'm gonna put canola back here in the large field and barley in the smaller one because we had tons of barley off of there, almost double what we needed. And we've got two fields of barley going, so I think uh, that'll be a better balance going forward of those two crops. I've also started selling flour. That 66,000 liters of barley was based on the amount of flour we needed to run our productions for a year. Um, but we can actually produce more flour than that. And seeing as we've got more barley and now we've got, what was it, 27,000, 28,000 liters of wheat, um, we can make more flour and sell that off as well. Once I get this, uh, oops, liming done, um, I'm going to move on to mowing our grass fields and getting that taken care of. So things are moving right along, but of course we started at five o'clock. Um, so it's uh, been a few hours we've been working here on the farm, but just thought I'd give you an update and a chance to see a little farming while I yacked away you can see our I haven't uh, paid anything off on the loan yet today so that's the money from the contracts and our uh, chores this morning. Well, today was fertilizer sale day. Oh, I see I've got to go take care of the combine tank is full. So, so yeah, it was, it's been a pretty good day and we've got a couple contracts yet to go. So we're going to do some damage to that loan today as long as I stay out of the store. Anyways, I'll leave you there. I'll go take care of that uh, full grain tank and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, either later day or tomorrow morning. 
see how what happens so catch up with you in a little bit well it's 8 30 and i'm here with the last load of canola off of field 13. let's get it tipped and see how much we have left So 25,000 liters. Well, that's not bad. So I'm going to go ahead and tip the rest in here. This is our pig food production. I can move uh, the rest around later. So it was a very busy day in the farm. As you can see, it's 8.30. Uh, I did get the uh, that cultivating contract done and also got the grass off our two fields and into our barn and I got our grass fields uh, mulched and limed although I, I just got it done uh, just about a half hour ago uh, game time and uh, the contract had uh, finished just a little bit before then and I've been busy moving equipment over there's one more thing I want to show you for today. Oh, we need to accept that contract that we've completed it. I have our harvester here. Let's, uh, well, first let's jump in and see. So that's the condition after that field. I didn't do any uh, repairs or anything um, in the field during the contract, so let's see what it costs. Yeah, 8300 Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But if we take a look, we're going to pay off our loan, but if we look, our vehicle running cost for the month, 47000 almost $48,000. Wow. Uh, that's got to be a couple engines at least. Um, well, let's pay back a bunch of our loan here. Still was a pretty good day, but those repair costs. Our big tractor, to be fair, has got over 60 hours on it, but they're getting... Wow, look at that, 385. That was a great day. Um, yeah, <laughs> getting a little out of hand. I thought Massey Ferguson's were a little bit more reliable than that. I didn't think I'd be changing uh, engines in the fleet so quickly. Anyways, I think we'll call it an episode there a pretty productive day on the farm i actually was surprised that i was able to get all that done um but that wasn't thanks in large part to uh, the workers but anyways we'll call that a wrap here on the farm for today so if you're still with me i want to thank you for watching i really appreciate it if you found this entertaining or informative anyway please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to see when other content like this lands, hit that old notification bell. But this for this episode, this is Farmer Murphy signing off. Until next time.